What up guys, it's Chris and I have a very awesome video for you guys today. I picked up my iPhone 6S Plus last night. They had to open it to activate it in the store, but I'm gonna kinda do my best to give you sort of an unboxing here. So here we have the box. It's absolutely massive. Look at it. So this, I have pretty big hands. And look at the, look at the box compared to my hand. So, you have a picture of the phone on the front, kind of like a simulated size of the phone. Really nice, clean packaging here. And I'm going to go ahead and normally I would have to undo some plastic wrapping, but I'm going to give you a look at what's in the box. Lift the top off here. And here is this monsterly, I, I can't even fit this whole phone in the frame the way I have my, let me see if I can back my iPad up a little here. Here's this, I still can't fit it, fit the whole phone in the frame, goodness. Ugh. Probably should have figured this out before I started. Here we go. Let's try it now. There we go. Almost. I almost got the whole phone in the frame. There we go. I'll turn it sideways and I'll have it. So, this phone had some plastic wrapping around it with a tab that made it easy to pull out of the box. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of tilt it and pull the phone out of the box here and set that aside for now. So, there's a little pull tab here. You pull up on this. And the phone cradle comes out. Put that over here. Here you have a little pamphlet, which I actually have not opened. Let's see what's inside. You get the quick start guide, some Apple stickers, which I haven't decided what I'm going to do with yet. Put those aside little quick start pamphlet, some random thing right there, I don't know what that is. So, some papers, who cares about those? Um, I'm going to go ahead and put everything back into the pamphlet here. Right now. Maybe. And, I'm also, this is going to be a kind of a long video. I'm imagining because I'm not just okay so like I said I've already opened this so underneath that you would have had a lightning cable right there speaking of which I need to plug my iPad in so I now have more than one lightning cable in the house yay I literally only had two lightning cables one here and one at work and it helps now that I have one in the bedroom one out here so the ear pods have already been taken out but I put the box back in the lightning cable would have, been, would have been right in this left pouch right here. And then you have your typical iPhone brick. So nothing really special in the box. It's really clean, really simple, easy to open. I'm going to go ahead and close the box and set that aside. And grab the phone here. This is the 128 gig gold iPhone 6S Plus. Now, one thing that I did notice is it's a bit heavy, which I actually don't mind. It's it's a beefy, substantial phone. Now, I actually had a 5S before this, so I know that this isn't new, but I like the fact that the sides are rounded like that. Like the front glass actually curves into the side of the phone, which is nice. Um, and you have a full aluminum enclosure. This is the new 7000 series aluminum, which is why the phone is a few millimeters thicker um, and a bit heavier, but it takes significantly more force to bend. You still have that camera wart. I don't know if you guys can see it kind of sticking out there. Um, the new 6S and 6S Plus have moved from Apple's typical 8 megapixel camera to a new 12 megapixel rear facing camera with two tone flash. And there's another microphone right there, I believe it's what that is. Um, 
If I turn the phone sideways, you have the volume rocker. This phone actually isn't on right now. I mean, you have the mute switch, uh, volume up and down. On the other side, you have your sleep-wake button. It was at the top of my previous phone, but it is no longer. It's on the side to make to kind of make locking it easier since the phone is bigger. Farther down, you have the SIM tray. On the bottom of the phone, you have a big speaker grill, um, a lightning connector with two pentalope screw uh, heads on either side. You have two microphones here. Then you have the headphone jack. So on the back, like I said, it's all aluminum except for those weird antenna lines right there. And of course you have the Apple logo. Um, if you see the gold ring around, this is the new Touch ID 2.0 sensor, which I will be demonstrating later. So I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison with my previous phone, I had the gold 16 gigabyte iPhone 5S. So here is the 6 Plus. Here is the 5S. Massive. As you can see, the 5S is, st even though this phone, the 6S Plus, is still a bit thicker than its previous, the iPhone 5S is still thicker. Um, give you kind of a comparison of the back. You do not have an all metal enclosure with the 5S. You have those glass end caps there. The sides are not rounded. It's more of a boxy kind of phone. Both phones have Touch ID. Um, this, the bigger phone supports Apple Pay, which is nice. I'm gonna give you like a thickness comparison there. I don't know if you can tell uh, the phone's size difference or not. And now I'm going to do a startup test, see which phone starts faster. I'm going to press both power buttons at the same time. One, two, three. Wait. That's weird. I didn't hold my button fast enough. I mean, long enough on the 6S Plus. But anyway, the 5S has a bit of a head start. Let's see what happens. And even with a head start, the five, the 6S Plus still starts up faster. The 5S is still booting up. Still booting up, and there it is. So there you have a good speed difference. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and put in my passwords here. To unlock these. Goodness, I'm getting tons of notifications. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my gosh. So, here you can see on the home screens, go away Apple notification. Oh, yeah, I'll fix that later. Here you can see on the home screens significantly more real estate on the 6S Plus. You can actually take the 6S Plus into landscape sometimes. Um, it's kind of a bug where sometimes it won't rotate, sometimes it will. But um, significantly more, put this phone on D&D, &D, significantly more real estate. Now I'm going to do a Touch ID versus Touch ID 2.0. So I'm going to press the power buttons to unlock the phones, and I'm going to touch in one, two, three. So there you see significantly faster. I'm going to do that one more time. One. Actually, let me turn voiceover on so it's a bit easier to see. One, two, three. The first beep you heard was the iPhone 6S Plus, of course. Now, I'm going to do a voiceover startup. So, I'm going to do the triple tap at the exact same time on both phones. So, as you can hear, um, well, the voices are the same, 
but the 6S Plus voiceover starts up significantly faster. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 5S away and show you some stuff on the 6S Plus. For example, Force Touch. So if I want to take a picture, for example, wherever I put my camera, I'm still used to the screen. I'm not getting used to the screen real estate and my apps are put in different places. There's my camera. So if I do force touch on the camera, it brings up a menu. Let me turn that up. There is a selfie camera. I'm going to activate that. It automatically jumps to the rear facing camera. And I'm going to go ahead and take one real quick. Let me demo the front facing flash. Because as you can see, here on the phone, there actually is no flash bulb. There's a camera, there's an ambient light sensor, and of course the speaker. But no flash, so here's what it's going to do. It uses the screen as a flash. And the controller actually increases the screen brightness by, I think it's like 200% or 300% or something like that. It's something weird. Yeah, Touch ID, it's crazy. It's almost instant. Like, I'm going to touch it right now. It's almost instant. VoiceOver is really snappy and fast. Really, really fast. I can fit one, two, three, four, five, six rows on my regular home screen of apps. It's a six by four plus the dock. So seven full rows of apps on one screen. Even when I pulled things out of folders, it was pretty nice. And another thing that's neat about this phone is if you have trouble finding specific 6S Plus cases, here I have a uh, basic Griffin uh, Survivor Slim case, and it fits the... It was. Uh, it was made for the 6S, I mean for the 6 Plus. Sorry about that. But the 6S Plus is only a few millimeters bigger, so it works. Also, VoiceOver does some really interesting things. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. With, with uh, Force Touch, you can play around and see what it does. I'm not going to ruin it for you. But let me just give you a hint. It helps a lot when you use direct touch and you want to type in passwords. Um, sending audio messages is good with it. It um, Peak is accessible. So if you're in email and you hold on a message, you can actually, what you do is, I'm going to actually show you. Hold on, let me go into mail. Mail, 2,515 Unread, Bob and Tracy, Technology Seminar, Title Unread, Fedora Outlier LLC, Step 10 of 12, The Launch, 10, Mike Unread, Fedora Outlier LLC, The Only Way to Protect the Future, Unread, Tracy, Sofo, Mike Fish as Resource for Let's Unread, Chewy.com, Tell Us What You Think, 8.25 a.m. Alright, Actions so, available. Unread, Chewy.com, Tell Us What You Think, 8.25 a.m. Actions available. Here is an email from an online pet store that I use to get things from my guide dog. And I'm Dark going to... Dark Sky, Drizzle starting soon. Oh, thank you, Dark Sky. I love that thing. And let me know that it's uh, going to rain soon. So if I do a single tap and hold, unread, and then tell I press, us unread, tell us what you think. Jolly Pets, Jolly Yellow, image. here I am in the email, so I can actually continue to press on the screen but move my finger around. Jolly Pets, Jolly Yellow, it's just giving pet parents an honest review of everything we offer is important to us. It lets us improve our selection, makes it easier for pet lovers to choose between the thousands of items we carry, and just helps all of us all give our pets the very best. And then when I let go... Unread, Chewy.com, tell us what you think, 8.25 a.m. And it still Action hasn't now. marked as unread because I haven't actually opened the message. That's peak. But unread, Chewy.com, giving if I peak, an view of everything we offer is important to us. and then Chewy. press harder, Chewy.com, link. Here I am in the actual email. All inboxes, 2,500, search field, unread, iBooks, unread, hotel, unread, nap, unread, Chew. all inboxes, Chewy.com, tell us what you think, 8.25 a.m. There Action we go. Now. So... Really loving Force Touch. Really, really loving it. I hope you guys enjoy it too. Thanks for watching the video.